Well, Christine and the dogs and I are in the wilderness <laughs> of the Upper French River. You know how nice it, it was to go north and paddle? Um, I didn't film all day. Uh, we made camp, it's uh, around 5.30. Actually, 5.22 I said, and it was actually 5.27. So I still got that. <laughs> um, and I said, well, we better make, better make camp. It was a long day, there's lots of traffic on the way here. And it's just nice to paddle. And yeah, I'm having a little bit of a break. Um, it's called a holiday, supposedly. Christine calls it a holiday. She says, I don't have any holidays. So I will film. Um, I'm gonna probably do more artsy stuff and that sort of thing too. But I do have to talk about one thing for Ashley's sake. So, sorry Speedo Man, I have yet to correct my error. I always do. Not making this up. What's in the bag? Spilt whiskey. Uh, everything we have is uh, whiskey. Whiskey uh, flavored. Yeah, because yet again, Every year this happens. We opened up that barrel just now and I'm like, what can I smell? And you're like, oh, I don't know. What, what can it be? And sure enough, at the bottom of my barrel is his whiskey and it's all spilt. I was smart. Well, actually, Christine was smart and said, put it in a bag in case it leaks. I don't know what it is. I, I, I guess I gotta get a new bag. Sorry. There you go, Ashley. Get new platypuses. Somebody send him some platypuses for God's sake, because every year we go through this. So we're gonna have to deal with that issue somehow. <laughs> well, for five days and uh, Upper French. So we um, we started just at just up from Dokus um, uh, River View Cottages um, and Marina. Great place to put in. I got my um, backcountry. Uh, not reservation, you don't reserve here, uh, you register. And so uh, it's in zones. So we're in zone one, which is the upper part of the French. Lovely little spot, we're in this bay. Was it, what, kind of, what bay are we in? Hmm. Oh, Bob's Bay, we're in Bob's Bay. And um, yeah, so nobody's here, no boats. We got a couple loons, we saw three eagles. Are we on holiday? We are on holiday. <laughs> I brought a book to read. Me too. <laughs> we have an incident already. We just got to camp, put the tent up, put the tarp up. Oh my god, the and, poor guy. Yeah, and, uh, we're so confused right now. <laughs> Christine, who did you pocket dial? <laughs> I, just, I just pocket dialed Sean Rowley. <laughs> and you hung up, you didn't even say hello to him. I know! I was like, oh my god! <laughs> another one? What? You got another one? Yes, I did. How many air mats do you own? Maybe five. <laughs> and why did That's you get a new one? Guess. Well, because I'm getting older and I'm just finding that for longer trips, um, in the back country, I need something a little bit better than what I've been using. So yeah, so I'm, I'm trying this. <laughs> Wait till you see it. All right. Wait till you hear it. Oh, what, 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 what is it? That doesn't sound like a good thing. It's not one of those things that sounds like a potato chip bag, does it? We'll see. Oh, no. I'm not going to tell, tell you. Oh, there goes my sleep tonight. We'll find out. That, it was on sale, wasn't it? Perhaps. <laughs> Usually everything I buy is on sale. <laughs> oh, no. It is actually really awesome. I tried it at home. Yeah. Briefly, so. Yeah, we're going to give this a go this trip. Well, I splurged and, and, and bought... <laughs> brought uh, the fancy stove. Yes. I haven't seen that stove yet. Yeah. I will show you this when it's blown up. I will show you the stove when it gets set up. Okay. Tastes like plastic. I don't know why. Well... Oh, you got one of those fancy bags. Yes. Oh God, do you think I could actually blow that up? I mean, in theory, you can blow air directly into it, but of course it's better if you don't have to. And this is like super efficient. It's actually really easy. Cool, I like the color of the bag. 
Okay, got steak for the first night. <laughs> Huge error. Um, I just assumed there was going to be a camp grill here, so I didn't bring one. I don't. I don't, I don't. So uh, we're not cooking the steak on the fire because I don't have a grill. So I'm going to make um, kind of like a stir fry with the steak. And I know that's a sin right now, first night. But that's what we're doing. No grill. Uh, but, Angel, you stay away from that. But, I got Andy's uh, recreational barrel works. Uh, new barrel harness, which I haven't really tried because it's no poor dodging. But I also have this. Oh. I'll just leave that in there. <laughs> it's a cooler bag. So we had a couple beers uh, tonight well, as soon as we got here. And steak. And I have ice in there. And it's still ice. And it was a warm day. So that's awesome. All right. I'm going to start frying up. Cool. brought the bug shelter but we didn't put it up because the bugs were flying but then dusk happened and we ran to the tent we was gonna read for a bit I got my Lucy light there it is right there Lucy light very cheap light but it's last me for what three years now yeah I think so yeah yeah pretty good it's a solar light and uh, I don't know it's fine that's all I got. I'm, I'm reading. You reading? Mm-hmm. Okay. What about my new air mattress? Oh, yeah. Shh. Shh. Listen. Listen. Listen to it. I won't be able to sleep. It's a potato chip bag it's thing. It's really not bad at all. Yeah, I know it. Actually, it's not. Actually. No. So, yeah. It's very comfortable. Yeah? Yeah. This You're... is the most comfortable air mattress I think that I've slept on. Yeah? Yeah. You said that last year. No. You buy like two air mattresses a year. No, I don't. Good night, Kevin. <laughs> okay. I read my book now. Where'd it go? Okay. Oh, and what book are you reading? I'm reading The River. Ooh. The River by Peter Heller. Yeah. Yeah, it's like... um. It is a story about a couple of friends who decide that they want to go, they're American, they decide they want to go on a, a river trip in Canada, and I forget what river it is. Let me find it again. Masqua? Masqua I River? I think they made that up. Do you think that's just not really yeah. a real river? Yeah. Anyway, let's just call it the river of death. The river. Well, then there's forest fires, and then there's a couple arguing, and then the next scene, only one member of the couple is on the river. Really? And you're, yeah. you, you'll be able to sleep tonight? Yeah. Okay, because mm -hmm. we're on a river, right? I know. And we're a couple on a river. Yeah. What's going on now, Christine? We're moving campsites. It's gonna rain. <laughs> Let's get to it. <laughs> we're moving out. It's gonna rain all day and storm, so we're getting a better site than we had last night.
Oh, I don't have my hat on. Wait a minute. Yeah. There. <laughs> Oliver, you have your sweater on. You have your sweater. Are you cold? Are you a little bit damp? This is one spoiled dog. You don't see Angel sitting on my lap. It's okay. Another luxury vacation rain rainstorm. <laughs> it hasn't let up at all. No, it hasn't. It's been raining hard. For what? Uh, I'm gonna say six hours now, at least six hours. <laughs> but look what I'm cooking you. Yeah, I know Ooh. that looks awesome. Well, we're not cooking dog food. No. That's that's all of ours. This was in the yeah. lid. Here we yeah. go. Here, I'll yeah, remove we're that. Having, so we look at the yeah, actual potatoes food. and ham steaks. There we go. I'm loving the stove right now. That's a really nice stove. Oh yeah, especially for like Especially this in this, oh yeah. my gosh. Well, we well, can't get a fire going. We can't have a fire because the fire pit is not anywhere near the tarp, unfortunately, and all the wood is like saturated. That's fine. Cheers. It's good wine. Good scotch. Mm -hmm. I kept telling her that it was gonna, it's gotta like die down soon. I mean, it, this is, it's been blowing and raining big time. Um, and usually just, it's around five, after five, about maybe even 5.30. And usually by then it blows off, but it's not at all. Wow. Yeah. This is crazy. Like it's been raining since uh, 11 o'clock today. And it's probably around 6.30. And it hasn't let up at all. There's maybe moments where, hello, but no, nothing. And, wow, we're getting drenched. And Christine found a slug in her wine. It wasn't good. Thanks, Dan, for the tarp. Custom sewing, a lot of people have been asking about this tarp. Uh, he makes some great, great stuff. He's also a really good guy. And, uh, <laughs> I'm loving you right now, Dan! Custom sewing! <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. <laughs> you having a good time? Yes! <laughs> no! No. <laughs> Like, come on, I don't mind some rain when we're camping, but I'm gonna say this is about, what, seven hours of this now, straight. <laughs> the tarp was peeing. <laughs> Angel doesn't seem to care. This is what I call mental fortitude. Chose the right time to go. Yeah. I can't even have like a five minute break to go to the bathroom. 
honest to God. <laughs> Normally I'm a fairly positive person, but I'm a bit ready to go to bed for the day. <laughs> Did you go? Yeah. Are you happy about that? Yeah. <laughs> Can't you tell? <laughs> like, that happened to me in like two minutes. And the tent is... <laughs> yeah, it's in a pool of water. Yeah. Make me a drink while I was gone. <laughs> Kevin, I'm so cold. I, I got my sweater on, and you put this little blanket over me. I look like a superhero, but I want to go home. I want to go home. Oliver's not good in the cold at all. What's well, up with like that cold? Just doing. It is still downpouring. Like we were like, this is crazy. If you're questioning global warming right now, you're an idiot. <laughs> is, is the tarp peeing again? <laughs> Christine has to pee again. Again? I think it, you know. Because I'm just drinking my wine. <laughs> so, just if you don't know, we, we were out for 18 days, I think, or 16, whatever, down in southwestern Ontario, uh, traveling, and it rained about 90% of the time. Like, but massive storms and thunder and lightning, and then heat wave. And uh, we went north saying, oh, that can't happen again. We look lovely, dear. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, we're the the rain has calmed down a bit. It's still raining, but it's not like. <sighs> okay, we got things drying here. We got things are drying. Rain jackets here. We got attitude drying. <laughs> Have we a good got, attitude. We got uh, um, Oliver, his his bed, and then Angel. Her bed, which is basically her life jacket. And I gotta say a thank you to Marina Wool. Like, oh gosh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. You put this on, yeah. you're good to go, especially in damp weather. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was not fun today. I mean, you know, it was fun because we were together. I, ha I have to say that. <laughs> today was a challenging day. It was really it was, challenging. It was. It was. I was 10 hours. No. I'm going to say, yeah, 10 hours of solid, hard rain that never stopped once. Yeah. And it got chilly, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Love you. Love you, too. Both people in the boat should have their own map, and they should know where they both are. Uh, they shouldn't assume the other person knows where they are because if something happened to the other person you don't know where you are so yeah yeah i want to know where we are on the map yeah not it's not good enough for you just to say well after this island we're going to turn right it's like okay cool but that i want to know where we are yeah that's really important yeah that's really important is that your socks or my socks this morning here it's just everything <laughs> maybe two wet dogs it's everything okay. right now we have to say, I was actually worried to come back in the tent after the last, like, three hours. Yeah, yeah. Because I actually thought the tent was going to be wet, and it's not. I am actually amazed. Yeah. So, Eureka Maduri 3. Yeah. Thumbs up. Okay, we're, we're going to read our books. It's only, like, 8.30.
and tomorrow we're going fishing. We're actually going to stay here another night, which, yeah, why not? You know? I think we deserve to stay here another night and not pack up. Yeah. Just have a fun day yeah. tomorrow because yeah. we couldn't really go anywhere today and do. Yeah. Signing off. Cut. <laughs> okay now now what do i do <laughs> you take it off oh you just lost your that's it that's oh the... no <laughs> uh, hi fishy all right i have no idea how to do that okay um can you do it <laughs> i just I, learned how to cast half an hour ago i know i'm not saying anything because she's caught uh three fish <laughs> and i've caught nothing so I'm not saying a word. All right, you're gonna take it. Look at Angel looking at. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, time to make bannock, <laughs> and uh, yeah, love making bannock halfway through the trip. Yeah, yeah, because your other breads get moldy and stale and stuff like that. So yeah, make some fresh bannock. Ingredients of uh, bannock. What I like: uh, half whole wheat flour, half uh, rich flour, uh, white flour, and I'll do, so right here is, um, half a cup of each, and then I put six tablespoons of powdered milk in there, and then I put three teaspoons of that magic powder, um, the, oh, what's it called, the Canadian stuff, um, Baking powder. Yes, I think. I'll write it down here. I'll write the description down here. Anyway, so I'm gonna put it in a pot. I'll get my hair out of there. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, oh. All right, put that in there. Put some water in. Now, you want to start with a little bit of water and then work your way up because it's hard to go back in time. And, oh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Sorry, I'm going to keep a bit of this in here to help with my fingers when I'm going to need to put it together. Okay. Makes sense in a second. All right. A little bit of water in. Who flies around here today? So you don't want it soupy, you want it more doughy. The one thing about Bannock is that you don't want it to rise, you don't need it to rise. It's a flatbread. So um, you just make it into the bread, work it with your hands. See this is why I want to put a little bit on my fingers to help out with this part. That's pretty good. More. So we don't want to create, out of this one, uh, two small bowl, bowls. There, that's better. Okay. Like 
so okay and then I'm gonna get the frying pan going with some oil and um, you put cinnamon in it uh, nutmeg in it uh, whatever uh, Cajun Cajun spice is really good in it with cheese um, cinnamons whatever just spice up your bannock if I had a bit of rum and I know this is crazy but it, it makes a huge difference when you're getting it going when you're halfway through to flip it again put some rum on one side of it oh make it makes a huge difference okay so try that so I'm gonna get this going clean up my hands and start frying up this bannock okay get that oil nice and hot One, two, all right, Christine found some blueberries for us. She's going to place them on the bannock. Not very many. I thought you'd make a little smiley face. <laughs> Like this. <laughs> there. There you go. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> All right. Try the bannock. Um, tradition is. Uh, you can put butter on it with a knife, but you can't cut bannock. You have to break it. Okay, can I? I can put butter on it. Which one's mine? Does that matter? Uh, sure. Okay. Butter. This looks really good, Kevin. Really good. I'll just take all the butter. <laughs> <laughs> all the butter. It's good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's done? Mm-hmm. It's really, really good. Yeah, this trip we tried out um, recreational barrel works, uh, new gear, new packs, new pack liner. Um, I got the large pack and the medium sized pack <coughs> and the barrel harness and uh, some stuff to store stuff in the barrels. Tried all that stuff and yeah, fantastic actually. So they held out really well. Uh, we didn't portage so I can't say what they're like on a portage yet, but uh, on the next trip. That one is soon to come. Okay, what, what do you got there? We got some stuff for rehydrating. Yeah, we're making pizza to me. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Okay, so See what's in you, there, Kevin? you dried all that at home. Yes. And what's in there? Um, mushrooms, green pepper, and pineapple. Okay, and mm -hmm. you reconstitute it in water for yes. how long? Well, I don't know. It's been not even maybe like 20 minutes now. So I don't know. I'd give it another 15 minutes maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we usually uh, dehydrate the tomato paste or tomato sauce, yes. but we brought a mini can in. We so. have a small can this time. Yeah. And we'll just. Use that and pack the can out. Okay. You brought the can over? Okay, so I was going to make pizza on the reflector oven. Uh, found wood <laughs> for it. Storm came in, hid the wood under the tarp, and I um, don't know if the storm is coming. So uh, it's a bloody heat wave again. So I'm just cooking the pizza on my stove. It's fine. So what we've done, we've uh, dehydrated. Uh, and rehydrated. We got mushrooms, green peppers, uh, um, uh, pineapple, and yeah, that will go on the pizza. I actually got from my deli, uh, Bridgenorth Deli, 
they uh, a lot of small town uh, small businesses will do this for you so I went and said look I want pepperoni um, and I want it pre-wrapped and they did that for me awesome uh, some onion left over we're gonna use some cheese from top spaghetti sauce in a can you can dehydrate this as well which is usually what we do but again no portages on this trip so why not just do this as long as you bring it out with you and, at, and actually cans are legal in this park some parks not so like Algonquin okay uh, got some oil and you can make a dough um, and let it rise uh, it's got yeast in it I've done that it's really good we're just gonna do this tonight Ooh. okay yeah this stove is being amazing on this trip because uh, the storms are coming in all the time I think Christy and I are stormed out <laughs> yes we are yeah and um, yeah, we, we, we're, we've we been in the woods for quite a while uh, this summer so far and storms a lot. So we're gonna cook on the stove, right? Right. Right. Sauce. Mushroom, pineapple, onion, cheese, Put the lid on that. Got simmer. We got some cilantro as well. I'm gonna put on. And you have a little bit of white wine with that, do you? Mm hmm. You know what the best part is on this? What? The pineapple. Yeah? Yeah. We didn't even really plan for that, right? No. I just brought the pineapple as a snack. It's quite good. Thank you, Kevin. Christine. Mm -hmm. I got a question for you, but yes. Oliver's on my lap, so, um, mm -hmm. I see that. so that, that wood that we harvested today, yeah. um, well, can you hold up a piece? Yeah. What's so special about it? It's burning really well. It's full of, I don't know, what do you call it? It's full of like resin. Resin? Yeah. Can you see that inside? Um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, whoa. Okay, Oliver. There we go. Now Oliver wants it to yeah. play with. So pitch pine, yeah. Oh, hey, that's good wood, dog. I, I'll take that home with me. He thinks I'm offering it to him. <laughs> Can you see it? Yeah, so it's got a bunch, Oliver. It's got a bun bunch of pitch on and that's why it's burning so well. I feel so yeah. bad uh, harvesting it for a fire tonight because it's, it's good fire starter. Well, I think we should leave some of it here. Just leave yeah. some of it beside the fire. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Look at that. Ooh, look at the fire. Ooh. Here, Oliver. You can have that one. There you go. I'm not sure if the camera can pick that up, but what's that, like, the sunset we have? Oh yeah, well that's from the smoke, from the fires, the forest fires. So that, I don't know if, because I know my cell phone camera does not pick it up, but the sun clouded in the, the smoke is like a red ball. It's like a red ball in the sky.
Well, I think we should go to bed, guys. I'm a little exhausted. <laughs> I mean, really? Let's run from the storm. Let's not. Let's deal with the heat wave. Let's uh, kill deer flies. And I'd like to say that Christine was the only one that caught a fish today. Kevin, you were a loser. I always thought you were. I always, always knew you were a loser. Now I know. You're a, you're, yeah, you were just, yeah. Okay, come on. We're going to bed. How are you making out? Good. Yeah? Yeah. You ready to go? We're ready to go. Yeah? Yeah. Keep holding my hand as you reach for